I am here supporting the Be Well Collective. I think it's crucially important uh, to redress the, 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 the balance that has um, sort of fallen on our industry with regards to body image and aesthetic and the way people feel about their body and in particular what they aspire to be um, and how they aspire to be with their body. I probably did 10 years in this end industry preparing myself for work and um, and it was about 10 years into the industry that I realized that that was probably the wrong way to be looking at things because I am who I am and I am what I am ultimately that's all that really uh, that's all that really matters and after 10 years in this industry I realized that working towards a physical aesthetic is a completely uh, pointless pursuit in life I'm in a fortunate position that I, I have been a model and I've been at the sharp end of the industry and how people view body image um, I've perhaps been uh, aspirational to certain people with the way I look and, um, and, and that gave me a perspective that perhaps uh, isn't felt across the board so I'll spend every single day destroying myself in the gym and eating right and not eating that and being careful of this and going home at Christmas and saying, sorry, mum, I can't eat that because I've got a shoot on, or fashion week on in, in January. And that isn't how I would have otherwise been as a human being. And that's where the discrepancy comes in. That's where you finish up growing apart from who you truly are as a person. And then when you realise that actually people are aspiring to be like we are, like models are in general in terms of look and aesthetic, you realise that you're actually you're encouraging people to move away from who they really are as people. So after 10 years of doing this job, I switched my focus from not what my body looks like, but what it can do. And that may have been a little bit reckless at the time because perhaps that means that I wouldn't have been fit for purpose. I may have lost a few clients, um, but I had to do that because focusing on what your body can do gives you a goal that, that's rewarding. What your body looks like should be irrelevant. How you look, how, you, how, how, how you're perceived by other people is irrelevant to who you are as a human being. If you're a marathon runner, your objective isn't to lose weight. It's to, loo it's to complete the marathon, perhaps in a good time, perhaps in a chicken costume. However it happens, the objective is to do the marathon. You train hard to get to that, to, to complete that objective, and maybe you lose a few pounds on the way. But that shouldn't be the objective. The objective is completing the marathon. But for anybody who's slaving away in the gym for an aesthetic, just to look a certain way, Yes, it's a, it, you're, or, or, or with regards to diet as well, if you're, if, you're, if you're punishing yourself, depriving yourself and really making life difficult for yourself in pursuit of an aesthetic, you're never going to be happy uh, because you'll get to that aesthetic and either stop because you've achieved it and then undo all the good work or realise that actually there's no satisfaction in that. Um, and. I learned very quickly, well I learned after 10 years, it took me 10 years to realise that it's better to focus on what you're capable of as a human being.